Have you ever wished to earn more money without putting much effort? Well, there is a simple way and it is called compounding that works by growing your wealth exponentially. Hello and welcome. You're watching Business Today Television. I'm Tanya Anija and in this episode, we are going to discuss the power of compounding and we'll help you understand the, uh, this technique with some easy rules of investing. So let's welcome our guest on the show today. We have with us uh, Mr. Rohan Mehta, who is the founder of Total Wealth. Thank you so much, Rohan, for taking the time out and joining us here on Business Today Television. I want to begin by asking you that what are the, uh, you know some of the basic steps that can actually help us to benefit uh, from compounding, and if you could explain us uh, you know the rule of seventy two one one four and 144 as well. What are these rules and how to really use them in, in investing? Yeah, thank you for having me. See, the eighth wonder of the world is compounding. Uh, everybody who enters into the market comes with a different definition of the markets, seeing some great examples out of it for a longer period of time. People have examples right. of MRF, Reliance, people have examples of Wipro, Infosys. Uh, and that is only possible because of the power of compounding. And compounding is one of the most magical way you earn in markets only because of compounding. Uh, the fallacy of the world is that people go into the negative compounding by taking loans uh, for long term. And the people, uh, most of the people, that is a positive compounding for long term, thinks a short term in equity markets. And that's the disparity why the returns doesn't come to them. Uh, you know, individual because uh, we, we feel that we will take a home loan for a longer period of time, but uh, we feel that we will invest for a shorter period of time. And that's why, you know, we, we are not able, most of them are not able to create wealth in the markets. And uh, yeah, compounding is uh, slow, steady, but eventually the things goes high and fast. Uh, the biggest problem or the biggest, you know, the problem or uh, biggest concern for compounding is that 80% of the time you get only 20% of the returns and 20% of the time you get 80% of the returns and that's where the biggest problem comes and people don't people are not able to understand it and as you said the rule of 72 is very interesting you know the rule of 72 is 72 114 so 72 is double of your money 114 is trip, uh, triple of your money and 144 is four times of your money so anything for example you divide by the expectation of the returns you want from the markets is equal to the number of years you have to stay invested into it. Now it looks very easy. Like for example, when I divide 72 uh, divided by 21% returns, I want to expect from the markets, it comes somewhere around three and a half years. But now it, it looks very good on the calculator, but there are times where, you know, maybe one or two years, you don't get any returns of, the, of it. Third year, maybe it is flattish and the fourth year you have a pumping superior returns out of it. Like, for example, in last two years, there has been no returns in equity markets in Indian uh, Indian context. But uh, maybe in next two years, the returns could be extremely high, which we have not seen in the last four years. And that's how, you know, compounding return works. So compounding is not only about, uh, you know, putting into the calculators by rule of uh, 72, 114 and 144, but also looking at the market trends that, you know, every every year, it's not a uh, market will not be able to give you returns. It's mutual funds, it equities or anything else. Uh, and it, when it will give, it will give very high returns. And at that time, you should not get out of the markets and think that, oh, fine, oh, I'll book the profits and get out of it. Maybe you see in, from 2000 to 2010, 2005 to 2007 was the best year to make money or 2000 from 2010 to 2020, uh, from 2014 to 2016, 17 was the best year to make money and post maybe 2023 to 2026 would be the best year of making money. So uh, it, it looks onto the map very clear that, okay, fine, every year you get returns, but equity market, it doesn't happen like that. So we have to understand very clearly that compounding has its own uh, ifs and buts it comes and comes with, uh, with a huge abundance and it doesn't come, it stays dry. But at the end of the day, the win of the market and the win of the wealth is only and only possible by compounding. Whatever technique, whatever market dynamics you do, short term, medium term, intraday, whatever you do. So uh, a person who looks forward for compounding by earning compounding creates a great wealth and somebody who gives compounding is at the end of the day a loser. 
Okay, absolutely got that. And also, Rohan, can you explain us that you know how can we use these rules, uh, like rule of seventy-two, one forty-four, and one one four, to really compare you know different kind of uh, investment avenues? Yeah, it's a very important, very really easy rule actually. For example, if somebody says that you know, let us say I want to put it in FD uh, at, for example, let us say seven percent of the returns. they would know by you know like when my when my money will get double and it will show that money that it may it will take that much of time to get double and that's very simple thing or, or maybe somebody saying that okay i i have let us say 100 rupees and i want to have 400 rupees in 100 years so how much percentage i need to put my money into which is the asset class i need to put it's 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 an asset class of fixed income from 6 to 8 percent returns it is an asset class of mutual funds or a gold etf or an etf From somewhere around from ten to fourteen percent returns, or it's equity from eighteen to twenty twenty five percent return, maybe eighteen to twenty percent return. So the goal, the objective of the investments is equal to the asset class you select, and that's you know seventy two one one four and one forty four, and then you can have a lot of numbers to look forward for for that. But you know, as a human, normal, we don't look forward for more than four times of returns. That's how seventy two one one four and one forty four has been created. So it's as simple as it. So whatever investments you do, it's and gold buying the gold jewelry, uh, buying a real estate. If you use this number, you will know how much time it will take to double, triple, or you know four times your money. Okay, absolutely. And also, Rohan, experts believe that these rules also help us, you know, to make better financial plans. Do you also agree? Yeah, of course, it it, it helps. But but I think so. This rule is just a calculation. The whole game is on the objective versus the asset class you choose. This is just a calculation. So calculation doesn't give you anything out of it. But yeah, it gives you just a clarity of the numbers what you want to achieve. So at the end of the day, this rules is easy because there are a lot of people who doesn't understand PR and you know upon hundred. This is the compounding interest. I think that everybody would have learned in the school for sure. But you know when you put it into the real life. uh it 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 is hard to calculate but it is easy you know it's a formula and people like this formula tricks and tips so it's it's good into that part of it but yeah for a financial planning it's a very important decision but it is for me it is only the 20% out of it but the rest 80% is your objective and the asset class you choose because of this okay absolutely and lastly rohan are there any other rules apart from the rules that we just mentioned like apart from 72 114 and 144 any other rules or any other you know thing that you would like to advise to our viewers at this point in time yeah i think so well, especially when it comes to power of compounding yeah you do uh, i don't think so there is rules but there are people from last two decades i have seen people not able to you know get the power of compounding is because we we think too much big in short term and we think too much small in long term I'll give you an example. When I say my clients that at twenty five percent CAGR in ten years we will be able to create ten x of wealth, and the client is shocked that are you saying that every year I am going to give get hundred percent? If you see on the last ten year scale, after ten years, yes. But if you see on year on or year year, you are not able to create that hundred percent. And I'll tell you, if it is ten x in ten years. in 20 years with this percentage it goes more than 35 times so the more you are in the game the more the multiple folds you create so now why i don't understand when i meet a customer or a client or an investor when everything is extremely clear why still we go into the fallacy of short term investing and and that's the way we don't make money into markets and that's the reason we have seen that only 1% of people are able to you know uh, compete with the ft returns and that's just because we don't think long term and the biggest trade formula whatever you say is that when you are investing when you are seeing a longer term uh, when you are seeing money long term comes into the picture or else your fixed deposits always works for you Okay, absolutely. And on that wonderful note, thank you so much, Rohan, for explaining it so well, for sharing all these wonderful insights with us, and being with us here on Business Today Television. Thank you. Thank so, you. with that, uh, let's wrap up this special episode. But uh, stay tuned for all the latest market updates. And many thanks for watching. 
If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.